Good morning, guys. Thanks for joining me on another flight. It is uh, just a VFR flight from uh, Dundee to uh, Edinburgh. So, should be a quick, uh, quick VFR flight. Uh, nothing too fancy. Navigating just direct GPS. Uh, we have six, uh, six passengers and uh, 57 gallons of fuel. So, as you can hear, the winds are blowing. Uh, not sure what kind of weather we'll get into there. Looks marginal for Edinburgh on the Meta TAF app. So we just finished a wonderful breakfast here. So let's get to her. We'll get down to our airplane. So let's get going here. Again, this is the Orbex scenery from uh, Orbex for Dundee Airport. I purchased uh, this on the marketplace in uh, side FS. 2020 here, so we'll stay on the sidewalk here. Anyway, all right. So yeah, they got a lot of uh, a lot of different things here: buildings, signs, uh, static vehicles, and didn't see any uh, NPCs, but you might have them there. Yeah, it really brings this airport to life. It's really really well done. Uh, I think this. I think it's better better than the Sunboro scenery. Anyway, so yeah, you can you can see all this stuff here. Not so it's it's done pretty well. Let's see, so our our plane is parked down here at the uh, east side of the airport on the grass. So so I read a little bit about uh, Dundee last night on Wikipedia, Tays Bridge and that sort of thing. So. Cow, we are tall. All right, let's shrink a little here. <laughs> yeah. So. All right. Got to get in through the gate here somewhere. <clears throat> There's our airplane there. Let's see. Let's say there's a door. It doesn't look like there's a door there. Well, we'll come back this way and pop in through there somewhere, so. Alright. Okay, there's a gate there. There we go. So we should take off from runway 27 and uh, just follow a direct uh, GPS road to Edinburgh. Nothing, nothing too exciting, but I do have the Edinburgh Airport installed as well. Don't know if I'll have time for a tour today of it. Maybe we could get that in tomorrow before we leave there. Plan to go out to uh, North Connell Oban, EGEO. So that should be exciting. All right, so here we are at the beautiful TA62. We'll hop on up and get started. off that Xbox controller there. Doesn't give us any grief. So we're right here. The grass parking. It's all fine and dandy. Alright. Guys, it doesn't look like any uh, controllers are on right now. Thought I seen one on when I looked at the uh, Vatsim viewer, but I guess not. So. Okay, before starting engines, so power levers, idle, yes they are, parking brake, is off, set, or, sorry, is set, my apologies, and it's master is off, gear selector check down, it is down, alternators check both on, go ahead, turn those on, fuel pump left and right, check off, they are off, Electrical master on, so we'll go ahead. Whoop, we'll go ahead and uh, turn on the electrical master. Check our fuel selectors here; they are on. All right. Start engine. So strobe lights, ACLs. So we'll go ahead and turn on our strobes. They're up here. Position lights. Engine master. We'll go to our left engine master first. So that's down here on the left beside the starter. Go ahead and turn on our left. See the message on the PFT glow plug, left glow plug on, glow on. So. 
Okay, so that's good to start. So we'll yell out the door, uh, clear prop. See everything come alive here. Pressure, RPMs, everything else will warm up. Enunciators, enunciators, idle RPM. Yep, opposite engine. So opposite engine. So we go ahead and hit our right master. Same thing. Right glow on. Get that glow plug warm up in there. And then same thing. Y'all uh, clear pl clear uh, prop out oh, the door. Actually, on this plane, there's no. I don't believe the DA62 has roll down windows. Okay, what happened there? Okay. Let's hold that for a few seconds. <laughs> How oh, the engine's not starting? What's going on there? Okay. No, yeah, you you just have the door open a crack and yell it out. You never know if someone's gonna be in the way there or whatever. <laughs> Avionics master on. All right, it's on. Power levers. We'll warm her up as we're doing our flight plan. That equipment on as required. Yes, yes. Go ahead and adjust the cabin heat. Don't need defrost yet. So go ahead and turn that on. Okay, so we'll do our uh, flight instruments and avionics right now. I'm just gonna do a direct to rope, guys. I mean, nothing, nothing fancy today. E G P H. Go go off Papa Hotel. That's Edinburgh. Enter activate. So what that does, it just sets a direct rope from here to there. Very, very simple. To do that, all you have to do is press that direct to. Go ahead and type in your destination. Enter, enter. You have a couple enters there to activate, and it activates your route. So, enter, yeah, enter, activate. See, so yeah, it's not, not very far at all. I mean, we're looking at. Sorry. 32, 32.6 uh, nautical miles. So it's basically over this river, over that landmass there, then over the, uh, right over Edinburgh, right up to the other side of the, right there. So controllers, VFR, they'd rather have you IFR, I believe. But okay, anyway. So let's check our Q and H for, for Dundee here. D airport. Oh, we're getting a good wind. Oh, we got 10 knot. 10 knots at 270, so that'd be a nice, uh, nice headwind for takeoff. Got our reads. Uh, Echo Golf popping in November. 181120 Zulu. 270 at 10 knots. 9999. Few at uh, 1000. Scattered 35. Temperature is 12. Dew point is 7. Q and H is 1012. So 1012. So nearly standard. Transition. We'll be flying the whole time in uh, pressure setting because we're only going up to 2,000 for this flight. Not very high at all. So. 2,000. So we got that set. This set. Set our runway heading. Just should have this chart pulled up, guys. But pull it up right now. Dundee. It's a brand new chart I got here. Get them all off Chart Fox. Nice free app for European airports. Well, UK anyway. I don't know how many. Other European ones, 272. Uh, how many other European airports they have? They don't have any North America, which is too bad. But anyway, I got uh, Flight Plan Go for North America, and I can get anything with that, so 272. That's just an app, Flight Plan Go. Uh, go. Download that from uh, your app store. 272. There's a runway heading. And what uh, runway we're taking at uh, Edinburgh? Let's see. Looks like we'll be taking 2 4 there. Wind's quite the same, right? So, so 1081. Tune in our uh, Unicom here. And then we'll go ahead, 1081. 1081, nav 1. 22805, yeah, see it uh, just over that. 24, 122. There we go, 122. The SciTech doesn't 
distinguish between the uh, lower numbers on the comms. It'll just lag a touch when you're on the one number, and then it'll go down to the next one, then lag, so you're on the five, right? So basically, if you look at that 124.850, so on the side tech it says right now 86, it still says 86, and now it says 87. So that's how that works with that radio panel. I can't find a radio panel from any any other manufacturer. The only one I really find is SciTech. You guys know of any manufacturers that make these things? It's, I do not. So anyways, our 1081 is not reading. 108.1. IDDE, -E. and yeah, that's not showing up. Go ahead and set our transponder here. 7000, I believe 7000 is VFR over here. Am I right, guys? Or am I wrong? I don't know. Why don't we see it's showing up here? It's not showing up on my site deck. I don't know why. Well, whatever. That's alright. Okay, so we're going. We got the altitude, we got the pressure, we got the heading, we have the the nav, we have our transponder, transponder is on, let's double check, yes. Okay, so we are set to taxi here. So taxiing is very simple, it's going to be taxiway echo and then alpha to 27. So okay, let's bring this back up, we have some more required, store Position lights, under next taxi lights, taxi lights and go on. And our trim are fully loaded, so guys, we're going to go a little, a little nose down here on takeoff. Okay. And taxi, we'll check our parking brake, our parking brake, we'll check our brakes. Instruments, make sure everything's alive, fuel pumps off, selectors, cross feed, they are set. And then before takeoff, we'll do our quick gust check, we always do. Okay, so to get out of here, we'll throttle up. Make a right turn, come back around to Echo there, and then Alpha. So we'll go ahead and call. Just double check, we don't have any controllers. No, we don't. So. And make sure we're recording. Yes, we are. Alright, guys, we're ready to taxi here. So. Dundee traffic, uh, Charlie Juliet Sierra Victor Romeo, type Diamond Twin, taxiing to runway 27 via Echo Alpha uh, from the to the east parking on the grass. Okay, so there we go there. Alright. Okay, brakes. You would not want to taxi into that plane there. That would be an expensive mess. Or that one, or anything that matter. Anything to do with aviation is very expensive. These, uh, there's probably not a hitbox in these airplanes though, so what that means I, I believe is when uh, you contact them it doesn't affect your aircraft in any way. You can probably taxi right through them, kind of like the runway guys. Yeah, that's some good coffee. Natural honey, guys. Mornings, I don't eat. I don't eat till 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I fast 18 hours a day. Have coffee with raw honey. Natural raw honey. Sometimes throughout the day, I'll grab a coffee from the store. But it's alright. So, Echo here. We've got our taxi lights on. We've tested our brakes. So, we can go ahead here and just stop here for a sec. Do a quick check, so gas is good. Looks good. Undercarriage is down. Yes, it is down. Switches, pumps can go on. Uh, pedo can go on. Taxi can come off. Landing lights can go on. We'll do five not uh, one notch of flaps. It's gonna say five degrees as if we're in like a Cessna or something. Okay, so take off. Check is complete. Go ahead and announce we're taking off. Dundee traffic, Charlie Victor Romeo taking off runway 27, uh, departure to the, the uh, south, uh, Dundee traffic. That's 27 here, and we'll go 
south to Edinburgh. I guess it's southwest, but that's okay. Alright, let's do a rolling takeoff here. Okay, power looks good, everything's in the green, airspeed is alive. Got a wonderful headwind here, nine knots there. Alright. Go ahead and rotate. Okay, we got a positive rate. Tap the brakes, gear up. Look at that, that's just a wonderful headwind. Okay, so we're gaining some speed. Our some altitude, our speed is constant. We'll go ahead and flaps come up. Pitch that nose up now that we get the speed. We're 500 feet. Just about. I didn't know there's that many people that live there in Dundee. That's a lot of people. 180,000. Wow. Fifth most most uh, largest city. I didn't know that either. Incredible. A big university there. I mean, about last night as well. So. Okay, we'll go ahead. <laughs> Apologies, guys. I uh, make our left turn here. Dundee traffic, uh, Charlie Victor Romeo, climbing 1,000, 2,000, uh, making your left turn on the course. Good day, Dundee traffic. Let's go ahead and pull back on the throttle here. Finish our gust check switches off. Landing lights go off. We're into our ascending turn here. Yeah, we're only going up to 2,000, so not very high today. Doesn't look like a super friendly VFR day, but let's see if we can get some views of whatever. Just overcorrect here so we can come back. And we can power back some more here. Maybe we'll let our numbers drop down there at 2000. We'll just hand fly it right to our course line there. So power, attitude. So I'm adjusting the power right now. Push the stick forward a bit. And adjust our trim. Pat. Going up, it's attitude, power, trim. Coming down, it's pat, down. Power, attitude, trim. Is that how it goes? Because you go up to your apartment, APT, attitude power trip. You go down, pat down. Okay. Little acronyms you can learn to make your flying life easier. I remember learning that in uh, flight school many years ago. Inside information. Was that the River Tay? Is that the name of that? I do believe that's the Tay Bridge back there on the far left. See how Lucars is right over there somewhere. Air Force Base, that's a good little run over to Edinburgh and back. usually traffic on or people on around Edinburgh. It's a vid, very busy airport, so it's always a good thing. Makes it more fun. You got others on there. It's lots of fun when you're doing circuit practice, uh, circuit training, and you got other people in the circuit. That's it's only happened to me a couple times. There's the car Air Force Base off to the east there on the wing, right on the wing tip. So see the runway there. Nice long runway. Adam, we've got the airline 415, some two pushing the car. Watch your altitude here. Okay, so we can go ahead and autopilot right now. Engaging autopilot. Make life a little easier for us.
25 miles, we'll call 20 miles, we'll call uh, visual runway 24. Brandon Burr. Double check, make sure anyone comes, comes on here. Usually if you don't check and the controller does come on and you're in their airspace, they'll, they'll send you a message, but you know, I never want to put extra work on the controllers. They're doing this volunteer, you know. Yeah, I'm sure it's their hobby, but still, they're, sometimes you can get busy. and Sometimes, I'm sure, it actually feels like work for them. So. You guys know if we can tip them? Timber traffic, uh, arrow line, forward five x-ray, push them back and stand one out, facing uh, uh, the correct direction. If we can tip the controllers on Vatsim, that'd be great. Anyway, I think we'll go uh, right pace for runway 24. For Edinburgh. You guys figure that sounds pretty good, I think. Uh, traffic, airport in the street, to Zulu, pushing back to stand 1-0, facing deep. Go ahead and set our runway heading for 24. They are 1089, so 10 miles south of uh, Dundee. 1089. Put us 22.4, 25 uh, to Edinburgh. Okay, looking good. We'll try get it. Try get our stand 200 there up on the North Apron. So that would be Taxi Wee, Charlie, Alpha, Papa. We've been there before. Someone texting in there. EIDW traffic. EIDW, is that going to be Ireland, right? Put those wind turbines down there. Green energy. <laughs> oh. Green energy, so they say, eh? I got my own views on that, now I will reserve them. <laughs> well, you guys know me, uh, I'm, a, I'm a Bitcoiner, right? So, I mean, I'm sure wind turbines are good for a smaller application, but the way that, uh, those elites make them sound sometimes is as if they're the next greatest thing. I honestly think uh, nuclear is the should be leading the way. Nuclear energy. But anyway, gonna get into too much of that today. And enjoy our flight here. We'll get a rabbit hole talk one day this week, I'm sure. Hop down the rabbit hole. Bitcoin rabbit hole. So Fife? Are we over at the town of Fife? The city of Fife? How big is this place, I wonder? We're 17 miles. I guess we should call in now. So. Underborough traffic, uh, Charlie Juliet, Sierra Victor Romeo, type Diamond Twin. We are 16 miles north, inbound runway, uh, 16 miles north, 2000, inbound runway 24. Join uh, right uh, base for runway 24. We'll report uh, final for runway 24, Underborough traffic. Okay, so let them know it's so easy to get mixed up on the voice chat uh, traffic. ahead and set our Q&H for Edinburgh. So refresh my meter, tap off. Wednesday. Out of the traffic, Fairline 415, taxi holding point Delta 1, runway 24 via Echo now. 1013. So it's a cut above, so it's basically standard altitude uh, atmosphere there. Meta reads, Echo Golf, Papa Hotel, 181120 Zulu. 250 at 14 knots, 9999, broken 
2700, temperature is 12, dew points 5, Q and H 101. I guess with that ceiling, that's what they're calling marginal VFR. One meter to half, anyway. 2700 foot ceiling, that's six and a quarter mile visibility. So not too bad. So I guess uh, 10 miles will drop down to circuit height. Does that sound sound good? I think so. Mitchellston Industrial Estate. All right. Oster tool? Oster tool? Is that how you see that? Uh, Edinburgh traffic, I've seen this tree uh, to Zoo taxiing Foxtrot Alpha to Delta 1, holding short currently of Foxtrot 1 for the fire line. Thanks, Bob. Yeah, Edinburgh is usually pretty busy, so it's good. Check, make sure and control it and jump on there. A wind turbine right below us. Fuel them. Edinburgh traffic, uh, fire line uh, 415 X-ray, taxiing via Echo and Alpha for runway 24 to Delta 1 holding port. So we'll go ahead and set set circuit height down here. So IS, throttle back. Where are we at? We're not very high anyway. Check our descent checklist. Should have done our cruise. Power lever as required, yes. Airspeed is alright. Trim is autopilot. Okay. Let's go ahead and merge our gust check with our landing check. Add more traffic airbus industry to Zulu continuing taxi via Alpha to Delta One. Seems low. <laughs> Seems pretty low here. That's okay. Thousand foot over the uh, river here. Uh, Fair line 415 X ray uh, following the Air Arabia Airbus in front of us. Well, we'll adjust our heading here so we can get, uh, get right on track for our right base. Burger traffic, uh, Fair line 3741, push back from the stand four on takeoff. CDI with the course selected. Edinburgh traffic, fair one, eight six golf from stand number one, push and start, face north. There's Edinburgh right there. So. That's a little far out on the heading, let's watch our speed here. And then the traffic fair line 415 line up departing uh, runway 24 on the Grace 3 Charlie departure. A good old Grace 3 Charlie, there we go. You know what, guys, that's all. That's a uh, manual. Take her over there manually to uh, Edinburgh. Right. Over 7 miles, 1,000. Speed's looking good, altitude's looking good. We are hand flying. I guess we could go ahead and uh, fly over the uh, fly towards the uh, four street and then make a little left turn there to right base. Keep our altitude active here. All 
right, so line up our CDI. Right when you touch that land, we'll make a left turn. Or how about midway on this island here? Be a far flying guy, so just our trim there, a little high. Okay, we're five miles, five miles to the airport. Uh, the burger, burger traffic, uh, third line, 3741, texting 224 uh, via Echo and Alpha. Edinburgh traffic, uh, Airbus Industry 2 Zulu, lining up runway 24. Edinburgh traffic, Charlie Victor Romeo is joining a right base for runway 24. Uh, right traffic, or port final, Edinburgh traffic. Okay, so let's drop the gear. Gust check, gas is good, undercarriage come down. Switches, pumps can come on, landing lights can come on. Edinburgh traffic, fair line 86 Golf, following company Odyssey for 20 Neo, tolling point Delta 1 runway 24 via Echo, Foxtrot, Mike, Delta. Edinburgh traffic, Charlie Victor Romeo is final, runway 24, 4 miles. Edinburgh traffic, fair line 86 Golf, correction, Foxtrot and Alpha to holding point Delta 1. Uh, Edinburgh traffic, Airbus Industry 2 Zulu taking off, runway 24. Edinburgh traffic, uh, fair line 415 X-ray standing, uh, holding short uh, Delta 1 for uh, 24. Edinburgh traffic, right behind the Airbus there, 3 mile final runway 24, uh, full stop. Uh, try to Victor Romeo. I'm traffic inside fair line uh, 415 X-ray. Edinburgh traffic, fair line 415 airborne from 24, passing 4,000 feet direct to ground. We get some wake turbulence. I don't know how model it is in MSF. But... You guys, remember my first. Video? Edinburgh traffic, uh, Fairline uh, 415 X ray lining up after the landing aircraft behind. A guy taxied and lined up right, right about now in my first video I ever made. <laughs> Landed right over top of him. So. Edinburgh traffic, Charlie Victor Romeo is two miles. Uh, Touchdown. Runway 24, Edinburgh traffic. Okay, so we're coming in a little fast here. Yeah, the frames start to suffer now. I mean, usually pretty good. Well, 50 frames, not bad. There he is there, waiting for me. Like a nice guy. <laughs> Uh, Edinburgh traffic, Airbus Industry 2, Zulu, airborne, passing 2,000 feet. There we go. Nice flare. And our flaps go up. We're not going to make Charlie. Pumps can come off. I don't know why the altitude's back on. And Pedo can come off. Landing lights are still on until we get to the taxiway. Try and get out of these guys' way here. So that's a direct two route. Uh, Animo traffic, our line 415 X-ray, uh, lined up 24, waiting for uh, clear runway. Whatever traffic, Charlie Victor Romeo is clear of the active taxiway Bravo. And about traffic, fair line 415 X-ray departing 24. And about traffic, Airbus Industry 2 Zulu going direct to Grice. The burger traffic is far away on the line, uh, 3741, uh, lining up from uh, 24. There he goes, look at that. I 
Out of our traffic, uh, Charlie Victor Romeo taxing to stand 200 uh, via Alpha Papa, North Apron. Okay, so we got a taxi light set. Pedo is off, pumps are off, flaps are up. Okay. Bit much throttle there, but definitely get us rolling. Aha, so is that the fire training area? It's not a bug. It's the fire training jet? Is that right? Is it blue in real life, though? I don't know. I'd have to check Google Maps if it's on there. This was the first airport I got off the marketplace. Um, this one's pretty detailed. You can walk right in the terminal building as well. Edinburgh traffic fire line 415 X ray airborne passing 2,600 feet. It's pretty neat. So adds a lot of static elements um, and aircraft. And the Burger traffic yeah, fire line 3741 taking off from a uh, 24. It's a busy day out here. Taxiway Papa around Alpha. And there's Papa Stand 200 right there. Nice and easy parking. So, it was a short flight to, uh, today, guys. I won't be doing a tour of the airport. Edinburgh traffic for Line 86 Golf, lining up runway 24. But uh, stay tuned. Probably tomorrow's video. I will. Uh, Probably tour in a borough maybe before we leave. Or another day when we get back. See where we're going tomorrow. I believe we're going to Oban. That's right. Yeah, Oban. North Connell, Echo Golf, Echo Oscar. So, here's our stand. So, let's. Brakes here, throttle down, parking brake. Sure, FSE E Flight records. There's the window. Did record. Good. Okay, so we can uh, the burger traffic for Lan Fita for one uh, direct earth. Shutting down here. Parking brake is on. Master off. Electrical consumers, turn them off. Engine master off. So we'll go right. Gauges die down there. And we'll go left. There's the gauges there. Die collision lights can go off. Master can go off. And alternators can go off. Okay, guys. That was our flight today. Short and sweet. Small little VFR flight from Dundee. Weather seems better over here, actually. So we can hop out and uh, be on our way. So, you guys, make sure you like, subscribe. Um, got three subscribers. It's exciting. When I get up to 10, I'm going to do a tour of my sim pit, show you guys my hardware, computer, and stuff like that. Um, and uh, I also want to start dropping lightning tips, lightning uh, airdrops, lucky subscribers and commenters after 10 subscribers as well. So appreciate all the uh, all the likes and uh, subscribers, guys. Keep the channel going. Okay, we'll just get back into our showcase. Showcase. Looks like you're, we were a passenger in the showcase. We'll hop out here, step back on our step. Have a short little look around here anyway. Just kind of walk around our plane here. Yeah, it adds a lot of static elements. I mean, a lot of static stuff. Beautiful DA-62. Edinburgh Airport, stand 200 here. 
I don't know if this guy's gonna take off right about now or what he's up to. I'm still, con yeah, I'm still connected, or he just dis disappear if I disconnected from VPilot. Yeah, so it definitely adds a lot to uh, to the airport. I mean, I'm not sure which uh, if it's who made the scenery. I can't remember the designer, but. I'll figure that out for you guys here. Well, it's not the best parking job I've ever done, but... <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to shut this video down. Remember, like, subscribe. Helps the channel. Do plan on uh, doing a tour of the sim pit after 10 subscribers and dropping some lightning, bitcoin, airdrops to lucky subscribers and commenters. So, Oh, there we go. Watch them lift off and then we'll be on our way. There he goes. All right, guys. Enjoy your day, and uh, stay tuned. Thanks again for flying with me today. All right.